My name is Mike Cox. I'm the statewide bighorn sheep biologist. I wish we were here on a positive note that we we're going to capture animals from a first thing at the scene herd and move them somewhere, but which we have on this herd. But uh, unfortunately, we lost 80% of this herd in the last two, three years, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we're down below 100 animals. So we're what we're trying to do is called a test and remove. Uh, these animals died of pneumonia, um, both the adults and then, then the lambs, they, they die of pneumonia too after the first few months of life. Um, so we're trying to find the remaining chronic shedders that are in the population. Probably only looking at less than 5% of the animals that are on the mountain today. So maybe there's, if there's 60, 70 animals, we're looking for... How many you think are left? Uh, probably between 50 and 70. Uh, right when I started this job three years ago, I used to survey and we classified an excess of almost 400 sheep. And this this last fall, I surveyed and classified 22. So, yeah, we're we're looking at drastic reductions due to mycoplasma, ovine pneumonia, um, bacterial pneumonia, and so th hopefully th this effort will help us in restoring this herd. For this area in particular, um, we, we have a mycoplasma ovinimane outbreak, um, my bacterial disease. Uh, so what, what we're doing here is we're testing them via PCR test, taking a nasal swab, and uh, we're, we're, we're gonna then test that if they come back positive. Um, because this is such a virulent uh, strain of mycoplasma ovinimane, uh, they, they will be lethally removed later on um, for the betterment of, of the entire population. Yeah, so um, unfortunately we just heard that this range used to have a herd of like 400 sheep three or four years ago and uh, they think it's down to like 60 or 70 because of pneumonia. So they're trying to, they're trying to capture, they think there's about 5% of the herd that has pneumonia that's spreading it to the rest. So I think they're trying to capture, get some data, I think they're collaring them to try to figure out where the spreaders are so they can kind of remove them from the herd because those if they do that the herd will come back if they don't the herd will probably go away forever in a couple years so it's, there's there's definitely a stakes are kind of high it feels like a kind of a serious type of of operation he was talking about you know they like the happy ones where they're usually capturing a herd that's blowing up and they're trying to figure out why the herd's doing so healthy so this is kind of the opposite of that so that's kind of a bummer but important work for sure Those rams will go on a walkabout, and some of those younger ewes will as well. And we see that in other animals, um, some of the non-game species that I work with. And it's just a way of having genetic get spread, keep the genetic diversity up in herds by having some new individuals show up in a herd. Um, that is the mechanism by which some of these disease issues are getting spread from one herd to another. Um, whether it's moving a young ram coming out of this mountain moving across the valley over there, the Monte Cristos can be enough to spread a disease event or a new strain, a new variety of this virus and things like that. This herd's especially uh, interesting because they're a remnant population. They're dubbed the Great Basin Race. They were never extirpated out of the state of Nevada. Uh, they typically do have smaller bases um, and they're not quite as long as our Mojave strains down uh, 
in the Mojave Desert, but this, this, these bighorn sheep are, are very unique and, and special to Nevada. Lone Mountain in particular with these super shedders um, who are constantly shedding bacterial pneumonia uh, will have chronic low lamb survival rates, low recruitment into the population. And to, to curtail that, uh, removing those super shedders is, is, is vital for the, the future longevity of these uh, Great Basin races and other bighorn sheep herds. It was a successful sheep capture day. I think we handled, what, 15-ish desert bighorns, ewes, ram mix, checking pregnancies, checking for pneumonia, blood samples, weighing them, making sure they're all good, and then releasing them. Yeah, we had, the over-under was we were gonna get six sheep. We got 16. That was action, that was, that was crazy. Every single volunteer was put to work. They were really thankful that they had so much help, and it was good to help. We had the whole crew, seven go hunt members out here cool to get back and see actually what these people do all the time out here. It was cool to uh, help them out, meet a bunch of cool people, and just enjoy a day out in the mountains of Nevada. Hell of a day. Beats the office. Definitely beats the day at the office. Though.